there is a great need in schools around the world to promote early interest in STEM, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. There is also a need among children to acquire important 21st century skills. How can we develop learning games that respond to these educational needs? To tackle this challenge, we created a collaboration of researchers, schools, and game companies in two countries, Finland and the USA. The project is called FUN. The FUN approach is twofold. Firstly, to examine Finnish and American criteria for evaluating learning games and their sustainability for different educational contexts in these two countries. Secondly, to identify the most crucial observations emerging from the evaluations of two web-based learning games in the field of STEM. These two games, aimed at elementary school children, were among the first in our evaluation. Plum Landing is an American science project for learning about ecosystems. Ten Monkeys is a Finnish game environment for learning basic mathematical skills. Also, a user study of the Early Math with Gracie and Friends iPad apps, part of the NSF-funded Next Generation Preschool Math Project at WGBH, was conducted among Finnish preschool children. To sum up the initial findings from expert evaluations, the key is to facilitate meaningful use of games in classroom context. The potential for learning lies in a game's ability to not only facilitate knowledge acquisition and content understanding, but also to motivate and engage. Your mission is to find a lake? Benefits of game-based learning were obvious. Games can help students form more dynamic mental models of scientific phenomena and thereby deepen their understanding more than traditional teaching tools. In mathematics, games have been found both effective and enjoyable. They can motivate students to practice basic arithmetic skills, the mastery of which requires repetition. Evaluators recommended that more emphasis be put on creative tasks and collaborative play to better provide opportunities for acquiring and practicing 21st century skills. Teachers were encouraged to adopt games as a part of their teaching practices and assessment. The game companies reinforced the pedagogy by evidence-based learning results, which accelerates their entry to prospective markets. Benefits of the cross-cultural work were expressed in the comments presented by the companies. This is one of the challenges with U.S. education, that there's very few people that let us act globally to incorporate these important 21st century skills. Your assessment was very useful because it showed where we needed to add more information and where we needed more motivation. The evaluation confirmed that our product is suitable for the international market. What was most useful, we got feedback from children about their experience. FUN demonstrated the benefits of cross-cultural research in Finland and the USA on many levels. However, supporting schools and companies in global competition through research demands more evidence-based results on gaming-based learning. Jillian Orr summarizes the results of fun and finish excellence. So much of your early education is based on play, and so much of the research is saying that play is critical in the development of children. We don't know what that means with technology. It's time to revamp our instruments to measure this. That's where Finland really shines.